hello friends welcome to this video tutorial in the previous video i used solve function uh, from psi by linear algebra to solve linear equation and uh, i also use inv and p in function in this video i will try to use this svd to solve linear equation to solve the linear equation using svd we have to import svd and we are importing this svd from numpy linear algebra and also we are importing numpy as np and we are importing matrix rank as rank and dag svd from scipy linear algebra so we have to import these things so let's run i have written uh, this solve method uh, using svd here we will use svd so suppose that our linear equation is like this thing so in this way our coefficient matrix will be the coefficients like 1 1 minus 1 and uh, three three columns and three rows so it will be a 3 by 3 matrix a and b will be our 1 0 2 uh, so we can write this uh, in the uh, in this form uh, so you can see this thing that uh, a is our 3 by 3 matrix and uh, this is 3 by 1 uh, column matrix here first step is that we are taking svd of a so here we are taking svd of a and uh, this svd will return three arrays and this u and vt these two arrays will be 2d array s is our 1d array our problem our linear equation is reduced like this thing a x equal b if we multiply this u s and v t again so we will get a and our problem is a x equal b so our solution will be x equal inverse a into b so if you substitute the value of a uh, then we will get like x equal inverse of u s v t dot b so we will get the inverse of v t inverse of s and inverse of u and uh, then dot b one property of u and v t matrices are that if we take the inverse of u then it will be equal to transpose of u so instead of using inverse of u we are using here transpose of u and in place of inverse of v t we are using transpose of v t as we know that s is a single dimension 1d s is 1d array so we have to make it into 2d array so here we are taking dag svd it it makes a diagonal matrix using the elements of s and the dimension of the diagonal matrix will be m and n so we are taking m and n from a so we are taking the shape of a and that shape will return m and n before that we have taken rank of a after taking rank we are slicing this s and we are taking inverse of s up to that rank and uh, we are multiplying these things and we will get the answer so let's check that we have three type of the a like uh, our matrix may be uh, like a square matrix and rank is equal to a uh, number of rows or columns and maybe second condition is that our, our a matrix is a square matrix but rank is less than uh, that minimum of row or column uh, row or column so in this situation it will be linearly in uh, linearly dependent uh, equations and other condition may be like a is uh, uh, not a square matrix like 3 by 4 matrix 4 by 3 matrix so we will see that how we can tackle these uh, all three conditions so first i'm taking that a is our i square matrix means that uh, and rank is uh, equal to m and n uh, so these are linearly dependent so it is very easy condition that uh, we can find that what is a and we see that a is our 3 by 3 uh, matrix and b is this and uh, so if our if we are going to use uh, we are going to solve this thing so we'll get okay okay we have not uh, yet run this whole program so i'm running this thing and uh, again i'm going to run and we'll get the answer okay so we got the answer that uh, this thing is 
uh, our solution so you can check that 0.75 0.5 and 0.25 is our uh, solution of this thing or not the second condition is that our rank is less than so i have taken another matrix a2 uh, in which our rank is different so first you see that uh, this is our a and our rank is 2 so it is a 3 by 3 matrix and rank is 2 so in this situation if you see that what is s so you can say that if you are taking at index 1 it will return s so here you take that if rank is 2 and matrix is 3 by 3 so here 1 0 comes uh, so uh, to take all this thing we uh, have taken here we have sliced up to r so beyond the rank we are not taking inverse of s okay now solve this thing if you are using uh, you solve this thing you will get the answer third and final condition is that a is not a square matrix so you can i have taken here a uh, 3 by 4 matrix so you can check that okay this a is our 3 by 4 matrix we can solve this thing using this method and you can find that okay our solution is here so here using this solve svd method uh, you can solve any type of the linear equation i hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, you got that how i have written this program